check or no check. I'm talking about the elemental settings for disabling default colors and default fonts. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, we got Elemental, Elemental Pro, brand new website and the Hello theme. Now what you do here with whether you check these two boxes or leave them unchecked can affect how you go about building your website, especially if you're planning on just using your default colors and fonts or if you're gonna start adding in a bit of CSS. Now I'm gonna show you the scenarios with whether you check both or uncheck and what my preferred route of option choices are when I'm building websites. So let's start off with unchecking both of them. By the way, I should mention that I have custom loaded in a font and I've gone for the Mansalva font, mainly because I'd wanted it to really stand out. So you'll notice when that font kicks in, this is just the normal or the weight 400 font. So I've custom loaded that in. On this blank page, I'm gonna drop in a heading and I'm gonna change the word to say H1 heading. I'm in the HTML tag, I'm gonna go and select H1. Now you will have noticed as soon as I drag that in, it's got the Mansalva font. Let me explain why it did that. If we go over to the site settings and go to global colors, you can see I've gone and assigned some colors, primary, secondary, text, accent. By default, if you uncheck the boxes, headings will automatically adopt the primary color. If I was to change this color to be a blue and click save changes, when we go back to my page, it's got the blue. And here's the funny thing. If I click it and go to style, it's already got it in there. So it automatically applies it. So when you uncheck whatever you've gone and set your global color to be, it will pick that up automatically. And also by unchecking, it's gone and picked up the Mansalva font. Look, if I go to typography, it's already got it there as the custom font. I did not pre-select it. Well, actually, I did pre-select it. Let me clarify again. So you've unchecked the boxes. You've gone to your site settings. You've gone and set your global color. You've also gone and set your global font. So over here in my primary, I did select Mansalva. So if I had custom loaded pop-ins, and then over here in my global font, I go and pop in pop-ins as my primary or secondary or text or accent, every time I go and drag on a button or text or a heading, it will take on that font family. So the unchecking kind of makes it easier for you, would you not agree? Because it now picks up your global color and it picks up your global font. So what's the problem? Well, what if I now decide I wanna create a CSS framework? Let's go back over to site settings and now we're gonna to go to custom CSS. My H1, I've got an added in a font size of five REM and you'll notice that instantly made it bigger. I've added in a font weight of normal. I can't really do anything else because I've only got the normal font loaded or I could have put five, 600 if I loaded them in. But notice here where I've got the color. This is var eGlobal color accent. I now want to pick up the accent color and the font family. I've just gone and typed in Vedana, okay? A system font, okay? Because I haven't custom loaded any of the fonts. This has not changed. So it's picking up the global color and the global font by default. Now, I should have mentioned at the start, I can overwrite everything if I just click on the heading and go to the style tab. So if I go to the style tab and I select Times New Roman, it will change. If I go and pick a different color, it will change, okay? But let's just say you've non-checked the boxes. I really wanna make this clear, okay? The boxes are non-checked, remember that. So when I go and add in some custom CSS, like the Vedana and the accent color, it doesn't work until I go and add in exclamation important. And the color now changes. Let's go to Vedana and we add it in here. Look, it's changed. If you were gonna add in some global colors and fonts, which I would always recommend you do, but you were now gonna create a CSS framework and you were gonna have a bit more control. Remember, you can overwrite everything when you go to your style options and all of that, because that will kind of supersede everything. But if you're gonna create a framework for your H1, your H2s or particular class system, this is where unchecking both boxes can cause a bit of a problem. That being said though, if you have no intention of changing your font family, and why would you if you've gone and custom loaded it and it's automatically picking up, in that scenario, I would say uncheck the disabling of the default fonts. Now let me show you what would happen if we checked both boxes and we are gonna tick both of them and hit save changes again. Let's now bring over a brand new heading. Let's just drop it in. Can you see the Mansalva font is not coming out? I'm gonna pop it as a H1 tag. So at the moment, when we go to the style tab and we go to the color, no colors come through. You go to typography, no family has come through. 
And that's because we checked both boxes. If I now go to the site settings and go to custom CSS, let me drop that code back in. We've got the five REM, we've got the font weight, and it's gone and brought over the color. But here's the really important bit, okay? I'm gonna get rid of the important. The color is there. I could change this to be primary. It brings it through. So by checking the box for the disabling of the colors, it means that I can now add in my custom CSS without using exclamation important. Because the more you use important, the more you're gonna complicate and start to confuse your CSS styling and well, is this important? Should I use this? And you know, things can get really messy especially as it's rendering and loading your page. If I go here and I now type in Mansalva, it brings it over without me having to do exclamation important. But again, like I just said previously, if you are custom loading your font, I don't think you're going to want to be doing your font family and your CSS all the time, unless you're going to have a very specific layout so that certain classes of a heading may have a particular font family. Maybe you've got Montserrat as your heading and then everything else is Mansalva or Roboto or Roboto Condensed. So I've shown you what happens if you check both and what happens if you uncheck both. Now let me summarize. If you check the color box, it's not going to automatically pick up your global color, but you can still select it from the style tab or add in a bit of CSS. If you uncheck it, it will pick up the default colors, but you can still overwrite it in the style tab. You can still add in custom CSS but then you got to add in exclamation important and the same with the font. If you check it, it won't automatically pick up your custom loaded font or the one you set in your global font. But again, you can pick it in the style or add some custom CSS. So none of these are deal breakers, but if you uncheck your font, it will pick up the custom loaded global font. You can add in some CSS, but you got to pop in exclamation important and you can still use your style. Remember, everything, whether you check or uncheck, you can still use the style tab. So what you got to do is kind of make a decision with what kind of way do you like to work in. If you're not going to be worried about doing custom CSS and you just want to have things there and then use the style tab, then maybe uncheck it. If you are going to want to adapt to like a CSS framework or have a bit more control of the layout, make it more methodical and efficient, then I would say check both. I actually prefer to mix it up a little bit. I will check the color one, but I will uncheck the font. Basically, I will do this because I want the font family to come through and I might overwrite it with a bit of styling if I decide I want to, but I want it to always come through because if I've decided to use pop-ins on my website, I want the pop-ins to just feed through automatically. And when it comes to my colors, I won't just have the four standard global colors. I'll have other custom colors as well. And I want to create a CSS framework so I can apply it to different classes or scenarios. So I'm going to start using a bit of custom CSS. But like I keep saying, you can overwrite all of this by just clicking the style tab. I hope that this really does clarify for you about the checking or the no checking, unchecking, non-checking of those two boxes in elemental settings. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings.